Okay, if you want to become part of our YouTube family, I highly recommend it. Yes, I am trying to grow my channel. I love to inspire. I love to be inspired. I love to just live life to the fullest. And if you want to do that with us, then let's go. Subscribe. Woohoo. Subscribe. And I guess you hit the notification button. I think that sends it out into the universe better. I don't know. But do it anyway. Why not? Hey, I help you. You help me. It Oh, it'll notify you. Yeah, that makes sense. The notification, notify. But if your channel is decent and you don't have um, swearing and impure things, and uh, I can subscribe to you. Okay, God bless. Enjoy your day. I'm sure you'll see me again today. So, I have decided, so if you were down like I was, boy oh boy, I just, you know, who wants to feel that way? Whenever you are feeling down, pray your rosaries. I know that definitely was a help. I prayed with my children yesterday. I haven't done it this morning, but I will definitely do it at some point. Praying your rosary. Your rosary is where it's at because Our Lady, oh yeah, let me go get that in the car. There's um, a bunch of promises that come with it. Um, if you pray the rosary, awesome. that is haddock. Yeah, it smells good, huh? My son is getting healthy. Woo! <clears throat> so anyway, don't you want the blessings from heaven? The church is extremely wise in knowing you're going to hear my car. Uh-huh. That is the um that is my transformer car. All right. So, here is a picture of our lady that's the mother of God, right? God has a mother? What do you mean God has a mother? Yes, God has a mother. Was Jesus God? Yes, he was. He has a mother. A lot of people don't like that. But then you're saying that Jesus is not God. Okay, so the Blessed Virgin Mary grants seven graces to the souls who honor her daily by meditating on her tears and sorrows. This devotion was passed on by St. Bridget. Here we go. See her heart? Her heart, I mean, like Santa Claus, right? People get mad at Santa. It's not Santa's fault that, you know, we're focusing more on him. He would be highly offended. It's really, um, I gotta catch my breath, hold on. <clears throat> Santa Claus is pointing to God all the time. Same thing with Our Lady. If you look at the Sacred Heart of Jesus, here is his heart with the thorns around it. <clears throat> okay? Same thing with Our Lady. She was so unrecognizable, tradition says, when she was watching her son die. She has the crown of thorns there, see it? She has the nails in her hand, and the swords in the Sacred Heart um, had to do with the seven sorrows that she herself was going to have to bear through her whole life. So people are like, oh, that must have been great being um, Mary. Well, it was. However, she had to also go through many hardships. So. Here are the seven graces, if you pray, um, not, I'm not talking about the rosary now, even though I was talking about the rosary. This is a different one. This is um, a devotion to the seven sorrows of Mary. Well, what is that? Uh, one, she promises you, and anybody who thinks about upon these things, and I'll tell you what that is, uh, that she will, she says, I will grant peace to their families, and God knows that we all need that. Two, they will be enlightened about the divine mysteries. Awesome. Three, I will console them in their pain and I will accompany them in their work. Four, I will give them as much as they ask for as long as it does not oppose the adorable will of my divine son or the sanctification of their souls. Five, I will defend them in their spiritual battles with the infernal enemy and I will protect them at every instant of their lives. Hey, I like the sound of that. Six, I will visibly help them at the moment of their death. They will see the face of their mother. You get to see Our Lady guiding you home to heaven, to God. See? 
Seven, I have obtained this grace from my divine son that those who propagate this devotion to my tears and sorrows will be taken directly from this earthly life to eternal happiness since all their sins will be forgiven and my son and I will be their eternal consolation. That's the comfort and joy. The seven sorrows. So when you pray one Hail Mary on meditating upon each of these, this you will get those graces. Number one, the prophecy of Simeon, that is in St. Uh, Luke chapter 2, 34 through 35. Uh, that's when uh, uh, Simeon, is it Simeon or Simon? I think it's Simeon. Uh, he told her that she was going to have seven sorrows. So that is what you think about him telling her that. Number two, the flight into Egypt. When King Herod was looking to kill all the boys who were two years old and under, uh, she had to fly into Egypt with St. Joseph and Jesus. Sorry about my hair. Um, so you think about that. I mean, think about that as a mother, like knowing that, okay? Uh, so Simeon is telling her that she's going to have seven sorrows. How would you feel if you knew that you were going to have seven sorrows? Uh, the flight into Egypt trying to protect your son. The third one is the loss of the child Jesus in the temple. How would you like to have lost your child for three days? So the second one, the flight into Egypt, was St. Matthew chapter 2, verse 13 and 14. The loss of the child Jesus in the temple is St. Luke chapter 2, 43 through 44. Number four is the meeting of Jesus and Mary on the way of the cross. So as he was on the way to the cross, she was seeing this and they were they, they knew that they were with each other. Um, that is, <clears throat> let's see, it doesn't give a scripture about that. Um, but tradition, right? Tradition is very important. The crucifixion is number five and the death of Jesus. Number six is the taking down of the body of Jesus from the cross. Imagine seeing these things for your, for your son. You're watching him die, and then you're watching them take him down off the cross. Okay, then the um, the burial of Jesus. So after each one, you say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Okay, so I hope that you will be blessed by that devotion. I know I am. And um, I think I'm done with this fish. My mother is coming over today. I am so excited. Yes, okay, so the amendment number two is to that you have the right to bear arms. You have a right to carry a gun with a license. And uh, I'm trying to think, what else? Oh yes, so uh, the United Kingdom is Scotland, uh, Northern Ireland, Wales, and England. Did you know that? Okay. So, when my mother comes over, maybe we can do something with her. I don't know. But definitely, we'll do some fun video for you. I am excited. Wow. See? It's like when you have these moments of, of feeling down like I was, you know? The odor of the devil is certainly um, sadness. And... You don't want to allow yourself to be sad too long. You have to pick yourself up. You have to say, wait a minute. And because we have all these devotions in the Catholic Church, you know, His grace will come and lift you up out of it. it they're promises. There's no way around it. It's just, it is what it is. And, you know, a lot of times I have trouble in my family life and I say, how, I don't even know how we're all together still. I don't, except through the grace of God, okay? <clears throat> So when we trust in him and with his mother, his mother only leads you. Now, if you went to go see a king and you disrespected his mother, do you really think he's going to allow you into his kingdom? Oh, no. You better have the highest regard and respect and honor to his mother. I can guarantee you that.